Morning everyone, just let me set the tweet out. <laughs> hey Aussie Welsh, how are you mate? Welcome to the stream. Thank you to the four viewers that have come in to watch. Okay, so the update is we've got 22 sea turtles now because two have been sent back to Perth because they weren't feeling too well. Okay, and uh, let me just check that's working. Sea turtles now. Yeah, great. So uh, Aussie Welsh, hope that you're okay. And I'm uh, going to do a shout out to Gio and Romeo. Okay, thanks for the support crew. All right, just thought I'd do a quick shout out for you and hope that you enjoy all the YouTube videos. Okay, well, how is everyone? How you're coping with lockdown and everything? Are you all safe? Okay, now, um, let me leave that there. I'll bring this down here, like that. That way that doesn't overheat, which is the biggest problem we've got. Right, and there, and there. And good. All right. So, whew, the other thing is too, um, the time now is quarter past eight. Between 12 and uh, 1 o'clock today, we're going to be going to the new fishing spot on the farm that I organised. So that way we have access to the best fishing spots on this stretch of river that we normally fish. And we don't have to worry about upsetting one as we'll be on private property. So um, I found some very, very interesting information about the area that we've been fishing. So hopefully we can increase our catch rate this afternoon. Hey there, Vinnie Bean, how are you mate? Welcome pal. Thanks to everyone that's come in. All right, so, what are we now? Quarter, yeah, in four hours to five hours, we'll be live fishing for black brim from this new fishing spot and we'll do a uh, nice stream today. Now on Friday, we have got another fishing stream. I've got work commitments tomorrow and then um, Saturday, hopefully the weather holds up. If all goes well on Saturday and we get a little bit of the beaches back, we'll do a nice long beach fishing stream all day, okay? Vin, how you going, mate? You keeping well? All right, so what we'll do is um, we'll just uh, head down to the um, tanks. Yeah, I remember Vinnie Boston, don't worry, mate. Yeah, I, I don't really like to uh, say people's usernames from the old platform just for, you know, safety reasons. Mate, I saw the other day you had 1,031 new cases and a few deaths, right? Um, how many did you have today, Aussie Welsh? Oh, you're welcome, Vin. Oh, don't worry, mate, I remember. I just don't, you know, say anything. Yeah, yeah, it's just mainly for you, mate, not for me. You know, I've, um, having left that old platform and that sort of stuff, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be re-uploading some old streams, okay, when we had the boat, and then that way, um, just to give you something to watch during the COVID and all that sort of stuff. So, 
yeah and apart from that over here today we've had that much rain so i don't know how it's going to affect the, the brim fishing okay all right now what's happened is do you remember that big turtle that we always weigh at the end of the segment okay well which is the wider one probably that i think little buggers in solitary confinement now right there he is underneath all that see him hiding underneath where the water's going in there you can't see him very clearly hey mate how you going all right so this is the one that was upstairs that we would always um, measure or they would always measure and weigh at the end of our streams okay he's in here now he's just lying deep there he's probably having a snooze and um, on top of that in this tank here I swear these things nearly grow before your eyes you know what I mean let's get that camera sorted okay I think these grow before your very eyes you know what I'm saying so when they come up like this see how it's opening its mouth it thinks it's going to get fed Hello mate, no, 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 sorry. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in here, hey? So this is like the uh, daycare, although it's probably more, um, <laughs> more like intensive care, if you know what I mean. So, and they've all got their numbers on the back and that sort of stuff. Hello buddy. Hey, see how they're all congregating around because they think they're going to get a feed. Hello, little mate. This one's missing a front left flipper. That one, uh, it's had a few chunks out of its back one. That one's had one bitten off. Oh! <laughs> Hey Sarah, I tweeted right, this is like sea turtle rehabilitation, instead of we are live, I've put in we ate live, not a good look, <laughs> no, 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 thanks Bri, thanks mate, uh, yeah, I think, uh... hey there dark side cat, how are you mate, alright, let's go back to Twitter, and let's delete that tweet now before yeah, uh, yeah get out of there that's a good idea um let's go and uh pin to profile no let's not pin to profile let's delete that tweet let's do it again oh dear thanks bro homie radio so we haven't eaten any sea turtles today although ironically from what I've seen on YouTube, apparently they do, you know. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Oh, the look of death. Oh, it's a bit scary. Oh. <laughs> so. Oh dear. Thanks, Bright Legend. Alrighty, there we are, fam. Hello, Cobber. So that one there. It's like, um. They're actually quite warm, believe it or not. So. Yeah, that's not cold at all. That's actually quite warm in there. So, great. Oh, the big one's here, fam. Okay, check this out. The big one's here. There he is. Or it is. Remember, you can't tell what they are until they sort of reach maturity. Oh, bugger, me and my bloody big fingers. There he is, just sulking away on the bottom there. I think he's having a bit of a snooze. How are you, bud? They look quite evil as they get older, so. Um, Dark Side Cat, they have named them all, but they identified them all, you know. Um. Hey, Blackheart, how are you, mate? Great to see you. Welcome, buddy. Good to see you in here, bud. Thanks for the subscription, pal. That's a good thing about YouTube. When you subscribe, it's free. So. 
Hello, mate. Hmm? Hello, are you going to come up and say hello or not? Hey? Hello. Hello, Kai Hill. What they do is they put them in these tubs, okay, just to get them back to health. Um, so, with these ones, right, these are the young turtles, right? And with the young turtles, when they come in, sometimes they're a bit listless or they've been brought in straight out from the wild where they've been, um, you know, just thrown around in storms and that sort of stuff and they end up on beaches and then people bring them in here. So what's the furthest some of these turtles have come from? Dunsborough and yelling up or? Esperance, wow. Oh, really, Dawn? Okay. Well, some of these turtles have come from as far as Esperance, so that's a fairly long way. I think Esperance is a 20 hour drive, isn't it, from here? Or 15 hours? Yeah, 15. Yeah, 1,500 kilometres from here. So, now for those of you that have been in the streams before, you know what's involved with feeding these still. Just give me a second, I need to retweet. God. Mate, I've sent out some really dumb tweets before. Like, really dumb tweets. Seriously, I'm good at it. We ate live. Are you serious? I've got a cracked screen on this phone and some of the stuff that I've put out. Just give me a second, fam. All right, hopefully that one's a bit better. Hey Hank, how are you buddy? Welcome. All right, let's move down now. And what we'll do is we'll start seeing the other stuff that they do here. So what we've got here in a lot of these places, we have UV light, okay? And what they're doing here is they're regenerating coral. So when they go out and they're diving and doing their research stuff and that, they'll uh, find coral that they will bring back to here and try and get it to take. Okay, so as you can see, they're imitating the uh, natural environment of these. Coral is a living thing, okay? And um, I mean, you look at the Great Barrier Reef over east and have a look at some of the um, issues that they're having with the coral over there. I mean, you could effectively say that this is almost like a little coral garden, you know? How are you, Hank? Hope you're good, mate. Mm. There we 
go. So this is like a little coral garden. And as we go along here, we have various stages of um, the development of the coral. So this is a lot easier, uh, sorry, it's a lot harder um, to get them to start, but it's a lot easier for the coral in here as they have perfect conditions. They're not having any issues with competition and that sort of stuff, okay? And uh, what that means is, is, is allows them to uh, flourish, really. And then what they will do is they will use them in the display upstairs. Hey, Shawnee, how are you, mate? What's going on? You good? Good to see you in here, Sean. Are you safe in this lockdown, mate, or what? So, as you can see, um, with the setup here, it's quite an intricate system. Right, so with this system here, what we've got is, um, this is, this is all the work behind the tanks. Right, so each one of those PVC's elbows is going to a little aquarium, right? And in that little aquarium, you've either got clownfish or sea turtles, and it's just uh, keeping everything in absolutely optimum um, environment, you know? So that way they prosper um, a lot quicker and they can get them back to the wild. So, I mean, in here too, they actually um, rear their own clownfish. So if we have anyone that's a Nemo fan, here we are. Okay, I shouldn't really talk about fishing streams in front of fishing aquariums, you know? Absolutely stunning, these, look at them. There we are, bud. So that's the Collingwood Nemo fish. Okay, and I think it's got its away kit on there with the yellow shorts. So. That's better now, I figured it out, great. Okay, so. What we have in here, okay, I'll just get this down. Daniel, how are you, mate? Welcome. Thank you very, very much for joining the stream. So what we have in here, we have gold banded maroon clownfish. Now, I don't know whether you can see them. I'll, I'll show you how small these are. They would be about the size of your little finger nail. Okay, so check that out. There we are, they're right underneath the filter there. Look at that. Thank you, Sean, you too, mate. Thanks for coming in and thanks for your support, mate. So there we are. So they're little tiny um, clownfish. Just to give you an idea, that's my little finger. Right, and that's my little fingernail. Okay, see? So, now in here, we have another clownfish there. There are so many varieties of uh, clownfish out there that um, I was actually quite shocked when they told me. All right, um, they're not just Nemo, but obviously the clownfish has risen to popularity with the movie, okay? And um, they have, this is, I think the Pecula is the Nemo, there you go. That's Nemo there, All right? So, such beautiful little fish, aren't they? Now, this one, okay, is a tang or tangerine and flame tomato clownfish. So, there's so many variations of colours, okay? And if you want a really good screensaver for your computer, yep, there we go, check this out. Alrighty, we'll get that there. Look at that. So, these are the Clark Eye clownfish. Okay, and once they all start getting a little, little bit bigger, they will move them out into separate tanks and they'll put them into the display. So, um, funny little things. They're like a litter of puppies built around in the water, you know? Now, this is what you don't see, and this is the real life stuff. These are our hard working volunteers here. Okay, and what they're doing is they're preparing the uh, 
food to feed all the sea turtles and also all the um, different species in the aquariums up the top. Okay, and what they're doing is they're just cutting everything down into bite sized pieces so that they can be eaten quite easily and obviously they don't choke or anything like that. Okay, and um, yeah, volunteers are priceless, fam. So what I've done is we've adopted a turtle um, and I've done that on behalf of the community and we've also managed to organise some corporate sponsorship for um, the centre. So not only are they allowing us to uh, live stream here but we're giving something back to them, um, you know, at, um, uh, you know, just as a thank you as well and just to show our support. You get lots of greys, blues, greens and brown. Really? Okay, Sean, that's interesting. Is this one a new one? Uh, it's not new, he usually was in one of the small blue tubs over there. Oh, okay. Water now. Is he not feeling well or is he just having a snooze? He's having a snooze. Okay. It's good if they can do one. Is it really? That's one of the things we want them to do. Okay, so what does that well, mean by this? They want stability, want them to be able to dive for their food and they want to rest on the bottom. Really? Yeah. So that's the three things that you look for? Yep. Oh, awesome. Okay. Very good they can do that. That size you can probably stay underwater for about 15, 20 minutes. So at that size they can on one breath they can, they can 15 to 20 minutes. The big ones, the mature ones, they can stay up anywhere from six to eight hours. Six to eight hours? What does their heartbeat drop down to then? Really? Wow, that's unbelievable. Okay. How's the quality of the stream, fam? Is it nice and clear? Do we have a really good picture going on here? Hello, Terry, you're finally here. Okay, hang on a second. Terry just wanted to say hello to the boys as well. How are you fellas? I hope you're behaving. Clean your room, okay? I've been hearing stories. No, I'm kidding. I just made that up, all right? Hey, Cahill. 1080p, awesome. Thanks, Daniel. Now, I'm gonna show you something here. What we've got down here is, we've actually got this is the extent that they go to here. If you have a look, right, I'll just bring this at an, at an angle. These are actually anemones, which you'll find in the wild, right? And what we have got is we've actually got the little clownfish, okay, in their symbiotic relationship with the anemones here. Okay, so see here as well, look on this other side, right? So these are assorted clownfish. That's actually an anemone that's latched onto the glass. And then they are exactly in the wild there, um, belting around, just doing what clownfish do. Looking really cute, you know what I mean? And uh, so that way it actually imitates um, the real life um, environment that they're in, all right? And uh, it just makes it Sarah, much, um, do you have any for them? much, much easier for them to acclimatise, and they do tend to thrive when they get put in here. Sorry, Sarah. And don't forget, uh, fam. Turn your notifications on because we're going fishing this afternoon. It's going to be a bit of old fashioned winter brim fishing because it's still belting down, but we're going to do a little bit of a reconnaissance and just check out um, spots and that sort of stuff. 
okay? And we might be getting the kayak out soon. I've just got to figure out how to put a little pot on there so that we can, um, you know, keep the Wi-Fi and everything up. Oh, you're welcome, Terry. So there we are. There's that little turtle that was asleep a few minutes ago. Now it's doing its, uh, hey, Mansi, how are you? Now it's doing its morning yoga stretching, okay? So what it's done there, that is the uh, deep sea stretch. So it's got its front fins out, okay? And then it's just gonna stretch. Right, hey, Daz, how are you, mate? <laughs> um, it's gonna stretch, okay, and probably have another little snooze, so yeah, they, so with these sea turtles, for every sea turtle that goes back into the wild, it's equivalent survival rate of 1,000 eggs that get laid in the wild. So to have them in here and rehabbing them, you know, is a really good cause. So over the years, they've let 30 sea turtles back into the wild over about 25 years. Okay. So 30 sea turtles is equivalent to 30,000 eggs that have been laid. No. No, they've 300, so 300,000 eggs. They've let go about 300 back. Oh, it is Terry, you know, and um, yeah, they, they have a very, very high attrition rate in the wild, okay? So, um... <laughs> Manzi, I've already adopted a turtle on behalf of the community, mate, so don't stress about that, okay? Um, yeah, I've already adopted a turtle. So the whole community, I've gone in and given them a donation, right? and then we're a part of it, and then what we'll do in another couple of months, we'll give them another one. So don't stress about that, I've already taken care of it, mate, okay? Thank you very, very much for the gesture, though. That was good. So our community, as a group, I had a little bit of um, funds left over from Twitch, okay? And then what I did is I just adopted a turtle for everyone, all right? So everyone that's watching has already contributed to what's going on here, okay? So, and no one needs to donate or anything like that. Don't worry about that sort of stuff. We've already taken care of it. And the other thing that we've done too is, like I said, um, I've organized a bit of corporate sponsorship. So that's just starting to come into fruition. So by people watching the stream, okay, and putting in the time, which is important, fam, the way you support the stream. The, the I don't watch movies. Nancy, sorry, man. Oh, yeah. I haven't watched a movie. I don't even remember the last movie I watched, sorry. So um, yeah, so by watching the stream, it provides us with the numbers, okay? To um, basically um, show people what we do. And then I went and approached a few different businesses around the place, and they were really happy with the YouTube streams and what we were trying to achieve. So what we did was um, just explained what they do here and how it's a charity and they're all volunteers and some of that corporate sponsorship has all like, oh, come through. So yeah, and that's thanks to you because you're all watching the stream and you know, it is a numbers game, you know. All right, so. Hygiene is important at all times, fam. So they're always cleaning benches. As you can see, they put the new pa newspaper down all right. And any slight contamination that gets on the food, okay, that'll cause headaches. All right, says. So, are we feeding the one that's in like the naughty corner? All right, how's, how's, how's it going? Is it behaving or? It's not, it's not prawn today. Oh yeah, that's what happens when they get a menu, mate. It's never enough. They're worse than kids, aren't they? <laughs> hey? <laughs> Spudwagon, how are you, mate? Welcome to the stream. So what's happened is with all the food that's been cut up, okay, what they're now doing is they're feeding the turtle and he's been a bit fussy today, fam. All right, he's just, you know, too easy. Here he is. Oh, the old look away pass. Hey? <laughs> there he goes. Yeah, I think he was more interested in the finger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
They say it's technically using turtle timeout. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, you're a legend, mate. <laughs> Hello, mate. How are you? Hey, Dawn. How you going? There we are. Excellent. So, so ideally what they want the turtles to do is they want the turtles to just chase the food and um, like virtually feed themselves as they're doing. So, and if you go up to the tank, it thinks it's being fed. We're doing our weekly YouTube stream. <laughs> Hello fella. So down here is a couple of little bits of our fish. See how he's feeding down there? Right, so he's picked that up off the bottom. That's a really good sign, okay? See the back fin that's been bitten off or lost in the storm? See how that one's complete and that one isn't? And that's really good, the fact that he's dived down and fed like that, okay? That's really good. So I think we should just call this one tripod because he's got the three legs left, you know? There you go, champ. They're, they got a, they're a strange looking, they've got like a, almost like a hooked beak, like a parrot. And it's almost like a bird on the front of the turtle, you know? So, hey fella, what are you doing? Okay, so they got another bit of food there. Well done. And this is the sort of real life content that we wanted to bring to the channel, fam. All right. Hey there, Ads, how are you, mate? Welcome, buddy. I saw you write something very, very funny in another stream the other day. Ads, I'll send you a message about that. I just about bloody, I nearly had to get some oxygen. I was laughing so hard. Yeah. That's why. That's better. So Ads, we've managed to organise uh, private property access to the river, so we should hopefully start doing some corker brim streams. Oh, seriously, Ads, so funny. Just so funny, mate. No, Dawn, he won't. He'll get let back into the wild. He's probably gonna get released this year. All right, so when they come in, sea turtles are so heavily predated upon by so many different species in the ocean, right? They're actually in for quite a tough time. And uh, that could have been, a shark could have bitten it off or something like that, all right? And then um, what they'll do is they'll come in here, okay? They'll restore them back to health and then they'll put them back into the wild, you know? Okay, so now they're going to feed the smaller turtle spam. I'm just going to sit that right there. Now, if you want to see something funny, watch these little turtles get fed, mate. We'll just zoom in a little bit. There we go. <laughs> hey, Cash Money Johnson, how are you, bud? Champ, you young lady are a star. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> nah, nah, you're right. Nah, you don't. Don't be silly. Don't say that. Tipsy Max, how are you, bud? <laughs> um, would it be too stressful on the turtles if I picked one up and showed a close up or not? No, that's okay. And do I have to wash my hands first? Give them a quick rinse. Got it. Um, and then just hold like a hamburger, so two hands. Yeah, yep, on. got it. Yeah. Where's the, um, where do I wash my hands from? Wash your hands here. That's hot water if you want to have that one. Yep, and do we have a little bit of a... Yeah, we do that. Oh, here's a bit of this. Yeah, and the antiseptic and all that. Great, thank you. All right, famo, so I'm just going to wash my hands with hot water. All right. Yeah. And then what we'll do is we'll pick a turtle up. Okay. Now... Let's go here. Now. I don't think Sarah knows my eating habits too well. I very rarely hold hamburgers with two hands and am gentle with them. But in this case, I'm going to make an exception. All right. So. Right. There we go. This is number 27. Hello, little fella. G'day, Ozfam. How you doing? Thanks for tuning in. There you go. See how he's lost his front right flipper there? Okay, so these are the size of my hand. All right, and I'll just put him back now. Okay, so feeding time at the zoo, fam. Okay, so we've got a bit of training going on today. Oh. What? Hang on a second, Ed's. Sorry, Ed, oh, I hit the screen by mistake, bud. Jeepers, what am I doing? Manzi, no. Yeah, he will do, Ed. Sorry about that, Ed. Oh, that's exactly right, mate. They are very quick. Oh, that's good. They teach to like learning to compete there, aren't they? Oh, it tried to, Sean. It tried to, mate. So you can just do it one by one if you want to. What number is that? That should be an 18. Yeah, so she's got three already. Yep. Hey, there we go. Oh, I've got a cracked screen on this phone, Ads, so. Get it? Yeah, you got it. There's been some of these smaller turtles that have been swapped out in the bigger aquarium where this big turtle was. So he's been brought down here, not so he doesn't give the little turtles a hard time. Right, and then um, the others have been put up the top there. Uh, you and me both, Sean. You know, you and me both. So you kind of want to continue to feed them throughout the day. So we don't pick them all this morning. 
not all this morning, no. So this is the last on the whole day. Okay. So normally you can probably get up to maybe 15. So across the tank here, there's a little turtle that's sticking its head up and opening its mouth there. Right. That's because it thinks it's being fed. There we are. Oh, they are, Terry. quite a good fish. We can get some more prawns fish if necessary. Normally, we do have a bit more prawns. We've got more fish at the moment. So, I keep the fish like the fish. So, I would get these guys up to like 10 bits each, and then I'd put them back in and swap them over, and they give them 10 bits, and then I'd Okay. That's what I would sort of do. You sort of gauge by how much food you have. So, what what the volunteers have done, right, is the volunteers have taken four turtles out of the tank. Yeah, you're not allowed to add, so they're treated as wild animals. And if Deepaw finds out that you've um, been doing that, mate, you're getting massive trouble. Oh, <laughs> oh. I think that turtle's name is Jim. <laughs> Not saying anything, but I mean, you know. Oh, they do ads, but the actual fines are quite heavy. You're not even allowed to keep um, native fish or even native crustaceans in your tanks at home, mate. Yeah, I think they are, mate. And then you'll just have Roger, who's in the glass tank as well, so he'll be included. Where would we be without Roger, fam? Good old Roger. Eh? That's it. Oh, well done. And a big thank you to our awesome community fam we've clocked a thousand hours of viewed time on youtube so that's great we're now three thousand hours away from being partnered on youtube fam okay ads i'm hoping to um uh organize a special stream up north later on this year okay and uh i'm not going to give the details on that because you know what it's like there's so many people on um, the old platform that watch other people's streams just to get ideas and run with it and say we thought of it first so I'll get it organised and once we're up there I'll let everyone know. Are you heading up to do the other displays and that now? No, we're going to have a coffee break. Oh, coffee, yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so once you get to like five or ten pieces of each, yep. swap them over. Okay. And then just roll through. They are right out there, are they? Yeah, they'll be okay for a little while. And then, um, yeah, just roger, and then that's. Oh, it there. is, mate. I want okay. you to be able to um, see I'll content the, the on this channel that yeah. you won't see on other channels, okay? And the only way you do that is to. Uh, the only way you do that is to go out on a limb and try different things, you know? Oh, they're back in here now, are they? Um, Excellent. We've got two. Oh, small. Are these new ones from yeah. the other ones? They, they're new ones that have been born in the tank. Yes. Awesome. So the two that were in there are yep. now up the top. Wow. And okay. Now two new babies. There we are. Can you see the stingrays? Ah, they're like little puppies. So cute. That's so smooth. Oh, really? Yeah. The ones at uh, Durian Bay are huge and it's like velvet going yeah, over yeah. your feet, you know? That is hilarious. Oh, that's good that it did that. So cute. Ah! 
Yeah, I, I mean, stingrays are an important part of the ecology too, of most waterways. I just don't like it when um, they get targeted by people and they just get left on the beach to rot, you know what I mean? I know. They have such a bad reputation because of Steve Irwin, but... Oh, yeah. But where he was, apparently that area, the stingrays are a lot flightier than most other places. Oh, right. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so... I mean, he was a great loss to the world, but, you know, just the enthusiasm of the guy was unbelievable, you know? They camouflage so well on the bottom of that tank, don't they? <laughs> hey? Keep making sure we haven't lost them. They're only about 10 centimetres across, aren't they? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, that's four inches in the imperial scale, fam. Um, they do have a tail, and do they have a barb forming? They do, at the base there. It's only really, really small. Yep, yeah, okay. So uh, the older they get, you know. Um, they get born live, do they, or from eggs? Live. So, live? Live, yep. Wow. They pop out of a, like a slit on the mum's tummy. Yep. Slide out and then off, off they go. Yep. All ready to rock straight yep. up. So the mum won't look after them or anything. They're pretty much on their own straight away. So that's why we had to remove them from the tank because they're competition for food straight away. Ah. The mum try and feed her babies. She would steal all the food. So you got to separate them. So that's why they're in here. Do they eat the babies? Usually, I don't yeah. usually eat the babies, they just, they just take all the foods. With oh, okay. So we take them out and hand feed them, make sure they get big and strong enough. And then yep. once they get to a decent size, they can probably go off in the bag take as well. Yep. It's not a lot of parental love for these little guys. No, it's just a vicious cycle really, isn't it? It's just a jungle out there, says, you know? So, at least they're independent and they leave home before they're 40. <laughs> I know. Better than I will. Oh. <laughs> oh, don't be like that. I've <laughs> <laughs> only got little mouths, so I'll just leave those bits with them, so I might yep. work on them a little bit. They're like a, um, it's, it, it, it's like when you find a crab in the inlet that's upside down with it's been torn apart. Mm -hmm. It's one of these suckers. Mm -hmm. Because they'll seal around the bottom around it and then they just hoover its insides, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah. Hey, Brett, how are you, bud? Rocky, you're not doing too good. No. What's his name, Rocky? Floppy. Floppy, uh, or Floppy? Change his name Floppy to... Floppy is number four. Flappy's yeah, not ch change good. his name to Rocky, he'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, Flappy's a bit oh. passive. Oh, this is Rocky, all out of his way. Oh, okay. Probably have to, yeah, target feed him. Yeah, overseas is structured. That's yeah. an interesting term, target feeding, because that's technically what you do with fishing. You know, Why? when you see, yeah. Actually, can I use that? Thanks. Did you own it in the first place? Yeah, they copyright it, so it's all good. Okay, thanks. <laughs> all right, yeah, we'll call it target feeding. So, yeah, that's a great term, because that's what you do with fish. You see the fish, yeah, and you cast at it. it. Mm. Mm. There we are, we're improving by vocabulary as well. <laughs> Thank you, Brett. And how'd you go with those knots, mate? Have you mastered that centaur knot yet? You should be able to tie that knot at night in your sleep. And if you want to really test how good you are, just knock back a bottle of bourbon or something, mate, and try and tie that knot. You'll still be able to do it, you know? We do not promote excessive drinking on this stream, fam, but you know, Sometimes you've got to do what you've got to do. We're going to be doing a brim fishing stream today. Brett, I managed to organise access on private property to a long stretch of river, okay? So this afternoon, about 12 to 1 o'clock, um, about 12 to 1 o'clock, hopefully, we'll be going back to the river to um, do a stream. So that's going to be... Um, it's going to be a three to four hour stream, but it's very wet and very windy today, so we've just got to be very careful. Oh, Oi, the other one got it. Excellent. Yeah, that's it. There we go now. Whoops, get it. Cable has to share. Perfect. <coughs> so, there you go, take this one out. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
owned. <laughs> No, I thought it was just going to be totally still. Oh, he knows, don't they? They know when the hand goes on the water, don't they? They're quite strong for such a small creature. Yeah. Very, very strong for such a small creature. That's floppy, isn't it? And they dive deep whenever they feel threatened, do they? Pretty much. So they like to stay on the bottom, because they're on the top of water. They're um, really good at spotting for sharks. They come up and nip them from the top of the water. Wow. They stay now nice and deep. So can't really. So who do we need? 23. Thank you for coming in, Dawn. I really appreciate you giving up your time to come in and watch the stream. Thank you very, very much. So we've got to get that one and that one? Yes. Oh, dear. It needs to come up. Hey. <laughs> they dry out very quickly, don't they? Hey there, Blind Symmetry Lure Painting. How are you, mate? Thank you very much for joining the stream. We're just at the uh, Turtle or the Loggerhead Sea Turtle Rehab Centre. Okay, and um, we're just. Will they come towards them, will they? Oh, you can use them sort of. I'll take this jacket off and roll the sleeve up if you want, girls, or no? You're right. Yeah, oh, it's just we need that one then. Yeah, cheeky. All right, hang on. Let me just take the jacket off and I'll. I'm going to get it. No, no, you're right. I'll get it. Oh, there we go. Oh, sneaky bugger hiding under the rock. <laughs> hey. Yeah, it's going to be over here. Sorry, I don't know your name. Jim. Jim, I'm Deb. Pleased to meet you, Deb. I'd shake hands, but you'd yeah. get bitten. <laughs> Thank you. That's like Marin. Marin, you sneak up behind them and you wait till they shoot backwards and catch them. Yep. There we go. Right, okay. Look at that. Uh -huh. Say so hello to Brucey for me, uh, Blind Symmetry. Can I wipe my hand on that or not? Yeah, yeah. Is that allowed? Are you coming back down after your coffee or are you staying um, up there? We will be heading straight up there to weigh and measure the turtles up All right, there. So I'll, that's I'll, so oh, wow. Yeah. It's already five past nine. That's, That's right. 40 minutes will head up. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Yeah. Now, I thought with all that food in the water and the fact that the turtles are in there and they're doing what they're doing, that, um, you know, um, the water would be quite, you know, smelly and all the rest of it. It's not, it's just like the ocean. That would be a very, very interesting new fundraiser, wouldn't it? I'm going to suggest that to Axel. Oh. I'd love to be able to give you a shout out, Lure Paint. People, Blind Symmetry Lure Painting has their own YouTube channel. So can you please um, show them some support and give them a subscription as well, okay? Does a fantastic job. He does art. I just do lures. Morning. I'm really looking forward to this brim fishing stream today, fam, because that stretch of the river that we can't fish is where we'll be fishing from, and we've got access to about four kilometers now. Fantastic. There is, so what they'll do is they come up and get a little gulp of air and they head down the bottom. What I'll do is I'll just change the camera lens. All those lights. There we go. So they're gonna put the food in front of them. They're gonna put the food in front of them. And then they'll, you know, they share out the food. Oops, that one wasn't very interested, was it? Oh, grass is running out of air, that's why. All right, so they should be able to pick up that piece of uh, food. Here it is. Here it is. It's on its way. Excellent, excellent. Beauty, it's got it. Well done, son. So what one was that? That one got one. 
No, 13 got one. It got the one that dived down. Oh, this right. this one here, yeah, did, yeah. yeah, this one here closest to me didn't get one. The little one here that's just dived down. That one there didn't get one. There he is, he's off. <laughs> oh, if you put it further in front of him, Sarah normally does that, because that way when it drops, it stills in their line of sight. Because if you do it right in front of it, the, and then it drops, so yeah. Beauty, see? And that, yeah, because she was saying uh, last time we did it that it doesn't have to drop too far for it, for them to lose sight of it. There he is, excellent. Oh, stumpy. Yeah, I think that's missing. Hey! <laughs> hey, Brett, they're eating little bits of fish and little bits of prawn that have been cut up. So basically what they'd find in the wild, you know? Ooh, a little gutsy. No, he's having real trouble with that one. No, no, you're right, Blind Symmetry. You've got to give credit where it's due, mate. You and Bruce have been fantastic supporters of mine for a long time. So I've got to try and do the right thing back, mate, you know? Oh, that's right, Brett. So um, over the last 25 years, I think they've let 30 turtles go back into the wild. That's, or 300 turtles back into the wild. That's equivalent to 300,000 eggs. That, I think that's a 13 or not, no? Is it? Oh, okay. That little one's come over for a feed now that missed out before, closest to you there. You see how it went under? Oh, he is. It might be getting that other piece that dropped, no? Excellent, he's seen it, he's seen it. No, no. no he'll get there, he'll get, he'll, he'll get there. Oh, he does, Brett. The, it's absolutely, um, you know, absolutely sensational, the work that he does on the lures. Absolutely in awe of his, uh, of his YouTube segments. Excellent. It's funny, they're not as mobile as the bigger ones, you know, so. The hardest, the hardest thing is, the hardest thing is judging how quickly the bait sinks. <laughs> That's hilarious. The little uh, stingray just splashed me. That's so funny. Oh, excellent. He got a bit on the bottom. See that little one? one? See, he just got a little bit off the bottom. Number eight. Yeah. On Myrtle. Yep. Oh, no, Brighton, sorry. Brighton. Yeah. Three. Myrtle the turtle. That's a catch, isn't it?
Excellent. What we'll do, fam, about quarter past, we'll move up to the other area and I'll show you all the other um, fish and species that they have on display. Okay. So that number, I reckon that says change, don't you? Um, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it looks like a five. An imposter. All right, so this is the big one that was up in the tank before, Femo. What I'm gonna do is just grab our uh, modem and a few other things, right? And then we'll head up the top. Oh, okay, we need some battery there. It's a wintry old day outside, fam, so. Oh, really? In Texas? Wow, okay. All right, Famo, I'm just going to start charging this phone. I'll just leave it there, so just give me a second. Once I get this battery on the phone, then I'll take us upstairs. That. Don't. Well, there goes that battery box. Nah. Oops, sorry. Excellent, that phone's charging now, which is good. That's running, which is good. Everything is good. Oh, wow. Really in New Jersey, Sean? Okay.
Okay, fam. So what we're going to do now, okay, is, let me just get that straight. We're going to move upstairs to the other area. I'm going to show you a few of the other aquarium displays that they have up there. And then in about uh, 25 minutes, they're going to be feeding the other little turtles. Really, yeah, the quality of the streams are so much better than the old platform fan. Um, it's unbelievable. I mean, this is, I put it in 1080 today and I increased the bit rate. Um, so, you know, it's just, uh, yeah, the difference in the stream is like chalk and cheese, really. Um, I can't believe how clear it is. On the old one, it's just, uh, yeah. So when we do our other streams and that sort of stuff, um, the quality is going to be there, okay? And uh, it's just going to make it so much easier for you to enjoy the stream. Now, the other good thing about this is too, this afternoon when we go and do the brim fishing stream, I'm hopefully going to be able to do close-ups on the area. Where we're going to be fishing, I found out that where we're going to be fishing on the river is 10 metres deep. So a lot of your mulloway and that sort of stuff need the deeper water and when we lost that big fish we lost it in that deeper section okay so without further ado let's move upstairs while there's a break in the rain and then I'll start showing you some of the other um, exhibits as we normally do and then we'll probably wind up about 10 30 11 today and then shoot straight down to do the um, brim fishing stream which I'm really excited about as like I said, I've managed to organise um, private property. I've already given the uh, landowner half a carton of beer. And we're going to have a very funny section. Um, they've got a pet cow on the farm that's massive, seriously. Um, and what I'll do is I'm going to take up some carrots. I'm going to give the um, cow some carrots. And then we'll just make friends with that, okay? All the tank pumps. Yeah, tipsy, that's just the quality of these Rode microphones mate the Rode microphones pick up absolutely everything my friend but uh where we're going now right oi, where we're going now oh how silly of me a big <laughs> a big shout out to our uh, channel sponsors Millard Marine Qualia Reels and Rode microphones if you're serious about streaming get serious about your audio and get Rode okay Let's go. Oh, it's a, it's a very wet, miserable day, but the weather does look like it's trying to break, fam. Okay. So, hopefully we get a bit of sunlight. I think the sun's a bit lost. There it is. Okay, it is trying to come out. So that's usually a good sign, you know. Now, let me just bring this back this way. And as you can see, the harbour... And that sort of stuff is just like a washing machine. All right. Here, I'll show you. So it's just like a washing machine in there. Okay. Now, what I'm going to have to do is turn this around the other way so we don't film anyone without their permission so but uh i promise you fam we've got some really good content here this is a good shot look at this this is near where we would launch from when we had the boat famo okay and there's a cargo ship in the harbor getting loaded just over there Right. Just getting loaded over there. And uh, there's a couple of barges. I think they're waiting to either take a ship out or bring one in. And there are the channel markers. Okay. So, all good. Great work. So let's move in and then I'll check you out the phone. Okay. Right. Uh, 
let's just go through here. Righto. It's very quiet today, fam, because of the weather. Right. There we are, dolphins belong free in the ocean, they sure do. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll take it uh, to the main tank and just leave it there. Hello mate, morning. So these are some of the fish species that we've caught while we've been out in the boat. So a couple of skippy coming past with a sweep and the wrasse. That's a western moon ras. That looks like, that's not a little ball chin, is it? No. There's that little Jew fish. Every time he sees a camera, he comes up for a photo op. You know? How are you, bud? <laughs> Guaranteed ads. Yes. Now this is interesting. See that ras down there? And there's a little banded sea cod there. See that there? I think that's a banded sea cod. There he is, just hiding away under there, minding its own business, trying to blend in with the coral, which is obviously a survival technique. Okay. Um, ads, what happens is, yeah, very much so. Um, they get washed up on the beaches, mate. So we'll, we'll do that one day. We'll go for a walk on the beach and see if we can find a little turtle. Okay, but not quite yet because I still can't get on the beach, mate. You know? All right, so our bit rate is getting affected here. Let me just take that out. We might have a little bit of a... Uh move over here here he is mr jewfish himself there we are beautiful fish in the water aren't they that needs to come up again i think come on bugger let's go around this side the jewfish will follow us around though fam yep this is a much better area for signal it's amazing you move 10 feet and the signal changes what about here let's try there <laughs> Look at this one. The reason why they're coming up, right, is they think they're getting fed. Hello, mate. Hello, beautiful. Hey. Because they think they're getting fed. Now, that is a short fin porcupine fish. All right. And uh, very poisonous. That's a pink snapper there, Ads. That pink snapper's about, I'd say, 50 centimetres. All right, so what we're going to do, we're back. Are we back yet? That's better. All right, so what we're going to do now, Famo, is we're going to put the um, camera at the height of the tank, right? Yeah. And then we're going to show you this tank. That's it, we've got our signal back. Signal's a strange thing when you're streaming, fam. Okay, so let's bring this down. I'm going to give you an underwater view of what's going on. Okay, there we are. That's better. And what we might do, let's just bring this down another notch.
that's better. Now we are at fish tank. <laughs> okay, there you go. So now we're at the fish tank level. Okay. Here he is, photo bomb. <laughs> oh, this one's hilarious. There you go. G'day mate. That little stingray's a cracker. Here he goes again. Woo <laughs> And here we have the stars of the show, fam. This is a gang of turtles. Oh, of course, Ads. Anything for a photo op, mate. Anything for a photo op. Morning, how you going? Get out, mate. Let's zoom in a bit. So this is what they actually look like underwater, famo. Hello, mate. Here's another one looking for a photo op. Hello, bud. So we have a couple of blue spotted areas again. <laughs> uh, this is so funny. Look, G'day, what are you doing? Look at me. Teenagers, they're all the same. All righty -o. So this little stinger, what it's doing. Is it zooming up the side of the tank? Okay, so that one's just taking a little breath of air. Hello, mate. That's the one. I'm surprised that little stingray didn't try and promote its Instagram account, you know? There we go, that's a little bit better. So this is one of the rare opportunities that you get of actually seeing what it's like underwater, okay? There you go. Just interacting. There he is again. So what it's doing is it's zooming up to the top of the cage and then dropping down again. Oh, it is ads, you know. This thing's hilarious. Hello little mate, there he goes. Axel, I've got some information for you too. Oh, that's right, Ads. And I mean, this would be a great screensaver if I actually shut up long enough to... <laughs> oh, 
Unfortunately, you can't get Wi-Fi underwater fan. You can, but you've got to have a pretty intricate system with cords and all that sort of stuff. So, no, Axel's um, the initial uh, contact that I made here um, when I first came down to the actual um, Discovery Centre to start live streaming here. He's a wealth of knowledge and a, an absolutely uh, great person to deal with. Because a lot of people seem to forget that when you are live streaming that fam, it's not so much where you go and what you do, it's the people that you deal with. And I avoid dealing with people that sort of aren't worth dealing with, if you know what I mean. But every single person down here is awesome. All right, there we go, fam, mate. Look at that. It's almost as if you're in an aquarium. No, let's move in a bit closer, actually. Why not? So as you can see, the turtles are just going about their business, doing their own thing. And these are, I think there's six turtles in here that were in the little tank down before. Mate, I've got... See the quality in 1080. And you know, everybody bangs on when you stream about backpacks and that you don't need it. You just need a really good camera with a really good camera like this Samsung. This that stingray's hilarious, mate. Every two or three minutes it just zooms fast, promoting its Instagram, you know. <laughs> oh, we got access to that farm and I'm gonna go fishing yeah, outside. Channel. Yes, but a bit further down, what they do is they herd the mullet onto these sand flats and they actually leap onto the flats feeding on them. No. Yes, they've seen them, I got told yesterday. The farmer? Yeah. Seen it? Yeah, they have seen them, they herd them right up to the flats. And they're pushing them, they are all actually physically yes. pushing their bodies? Yeah. They have seen them, like porpoise, pardon the pun yeah, with the dolphin, yes. porpoise chasing the mullet and going back in. And they're pushing them onto their flats. Yeah. They can't go any further past that point unless it's a really high tide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'm going to go and have a look today. I'll take some photos and I'll send them to you. Yeah. Well, definitely that's something. Yeah, you... You yeah. did the shit. Oh. <laughs> is, it, is that on? No, it's not on. Yes, it is. Yeah, that, cl oh, it yeah, that cloud on the left-hand side is a little bit of, you know... Yeah. Hey, I've got a great idea for a fundraiser that I bet you've never even thought of. It's right in front of you. What? Turtle bingo. Turtle bingo. You need gaming license for bingo. Well, you're a, cha you're, a, you're a charity. Put them all in the water, right? And then what they can do is they can buy a ticket yeah. to see which one comes up for air first yeah. and it's got the number on the yeah. back. Yes. Turtle bingo, what? Axel. <laughs> Serious. Yeah. Yeah, you you could do it at a quiz night or whatever. Bring yeah. a big tag in. Yeah. Yeah. You could do that. You know, and whatever they pledge, if theirs come up, they have to pay we it. We always do one game. Oh, do you? This night? Yeah. So we always look for a new one, like coin tossing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, like no that. turtle tossing, mate. We'll, yeah, that's a no bad, yeah. Tossing, yeah, no, that's bad. That's not good at all. Okay. So when do you want to do it? Because you think in front of the camera. Number four.
There we go, sounds back. Esperance. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's they have a different number and then they mark. So where they have the spots on the fins, it's where they've been damaged or bitten. So if you look at that one there, um, what is that? Rocky, his left front fin and his left back fin's been chewed and he's number 14, which is, I don't know whether Rocky, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, it's unreal. It's like a football team. Yeah, audio's back, fam. Yeah, as you can see, that cloud on the left there is the best part of that turtle gone. <laughs> that means they're well fed. I think it's flirting with you, Axel. Like, <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. That's bigger than the turtle. This one's swimming through it. Good to see there, close. Uh, yeah. Happened to some of our tour guides and the dolphin swims as well. What, the dolphins drop one? Yeah. Oh, you mean as well. That is funny. Yeah, yeah. How... It's on our YouTube channel. So is it a cloud dolphins? like that? Yeah, it's a cloud like that. Well, how big's the cloud? When it spreads, a couple of meters. Wow! Yeah, it's a bit like this if you compare it to the body size. <laughs> and if you think a dolphin is two meters. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah wow. I've got it on video once, and it happened to me once as well, but just when I went in. Maybe it likes you. came by in. <laughs> and then another day it was with a whale shark. I had a good whale shark. And that a is, whale shark did one a, on you. That's a shoe. That's, that's like, that's soup. That's <laughs> Sorry, I'm not laughing at you, I'm sharing your pain, all right? No, it's actually really, uh, I don't know, is it flattering? Yeah. Is it? Is I don't it know. A sign of trust? Well, it's your raw animal magnetism, mate. It's got no limits, Axel. You know, whale sharks, dolphins, you know what I mean? You're a magnet. So, now is that, um, let's get that back in again. No, that's the actual, hang on, let's bring that back a bit. Yeah, see how it cleared up? I've been doing what you said about, you know, um, moving closer rather than digital zooming. And the difference in the quality of the picture is just unbelievable. You know, you, you just can't really compare it, you know. So, I won't go over there because they've got the littlies over there. I'll just stay here and I'll move over to that other tank. So, all right. Oh, there we go. One's fallen asleep, fam, underneath the coral there. Check that out. Look at this. So that's a typical sleeping patterns of, of turtles. There we go, look at that. They, they will always look for shelter where they can sleep. There we go. So they're protected from predators like sharks and larger... Oh, predators. I get it. So the underbelly's covered and they just have the shell exposed. Have as, much, have as much color around you as possible, like under a rock, under a cave, a uh, rock sort of, you know. Okay. Or they sleep under the pipework back there. Yep. So anything natural... That's covered. You yourself in, Yep. So you can rest and you don't get attacked and you don't float up either when you sleep. Yep, 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 okay. Because obviously they sleep on the ground mm. and they just come up for air. Right, every, okay. You know, every 10 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, depends on the size of the turtle and how well developed the lung size. Oh, okay, wow. But yeah, that's, that's how turtles sleep. They don't sleep on the surface. Wow, okay. They might rest, but they don't sleep. This is sleeping. That was unbelievable. They said the mature turtle with one breath can stay five to six hours yeah, underwater. Yeah. And you see these guys even half an hour, and they're mm. babies, so... Oh, wow. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> the, well. the what? The yeah, yeah, the measuring and that. I'm going to show everyone how they get fed underwater. Hello, mate. Uh, we're going to be Thanks, Eds. So you reckon that turtle bingo idea is a winner, or...? Yeah, we can try the next puppies. Why not? And why not? We could do a live stream from here to a big screen where the quiz is. Yeah. And then we do it like that. Yeah, that's an idea, but how are you going to get all 20 turtles in the tank? We don't. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Much. Um, this is, there's actually regulations for this. How much turtle per square cubic meter. Really? So yeah, these are free range turtles? There's free range turtles, yeah. I mean, they don't mind, because obviously that's a pretty big tank. Oh, thanks, Eds. Um, so this is pretty perfect, and there probably could be more. Yep. But you also need to give them enough sleeping options. Yep, so yep. Oh, so that's why you've got all these little areas, all these little crevices sorted, and all that sort of turtles. All right, so, yeah, I'm not going to shift it over there because it's got the little ones, so, yeah, I'll just keep it on here. 
Easy. <laughs> Did you do the measuring this morning already over there? Nah, I don't know. I think they did the feeding and then they came up here. Oh, that's exactly right, mate. And you've let about 300 go in the last 25 years, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, so that's equivalent to 300,000 eggs they got laid in the wild. It's a pity that Depor doesn't allow you to bring a heap of eggs in and raise them from hatchlings and put them out. But well, that will mean... Yeah. Yeah, so they're already a bit wild. If we wouldn't have been to be in that case, they would be dead. Yeah. So it's just a natural habit or natural pattern that you need so many eggs in the wild. Yep. To, uh, yep. Birds are like that too. I mean, even the birds pick them up when they hatch or at, at sea as well. You know, larger, larger prey, prey uh, birds. Yep. Birds of prey, they pick them up as well. Really? So yeah, the sea eagles and hit them? When they come to surf, probably not so much the eagles, but. Um, what well, albatross and everything? Wow. Really yeah, okay. There's, there's quite a few documentaries where you can <laughs> see them. They hatch a walk along the beach and the birds just wait. Yeah, yeah, they swoop on them. So they're used already a certain percentage. Oh, that's right. And then the crabs get them. Yeah, apparently Trevally's are big feeders on them, aren't they? I know what I should do, Axel. I just thought of something that I don't think I've ever seen. I need to tie a saltwater turtle fly. Yeah, that's a great idea. And what I'll do is I'll make it out of celastic and also um, other things so that it floats. I never even thought of that. Wow. There's something that's just blown the mind, a turtle fly, especially the little ones. No, 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 but I mean, obviously, yeah, wow, okay. These little stingrays are cheeky, aren't they? Yeah, I saw them this morning, the new ones that have come out. That's right, turtles can live to 100 years. <laughs> yep, that one that was asleep, fam, is just coming up to breathe. See, here it comes up for a breath. There we go, and whoop, it's just grabbed a breath. It'll stay on the surface for a little while. There, it's taking another breath, and then it'll start to come down. This stingray's a cracker, he's hilarious. He's flapping out of the water. Yeah, yeah, he goes clear out of the water. That's a bit better. You were dead right, mate. Don't use the digital zoom, just move the camera. That's... Digital zoom only in after, post-production, so in... Yep, when yep. You do the editing and stuff, then you can, because with the proper software, you can work much better than. Yep. Um, I'm, I'm with everyone that's come in here, like the, the little ones, I might shut down soon. Right, and then I'll come and catch up with you. I'll see how we go. But a couple more. So, um, yeah. Okay. Now, what I'll do is I'm just going to shift over for a second. Him. <laughs> oh, 
Oh. All right, fam, look, what I'm going to do is we've got quite a few kids that have come into the area now that are on a school excursion. And um, as a streamer, okay, you're not allowed to have uh, anyone on your streams like that as you need permission to be able to uh, record people. So I'm going to sign out. And what I'll do is we'll go and start the brim fishing stream early, okay? Thank you very much for tuning in. Stay safe, stay well, be the best person you can be every day. And within the next hour, I'll be down at the river and we'll be doing some live winter brim fishing. See you soon.